So, so far what we've talked about for linear programming has been strict linear, which meant that we could, for an LP, what we could actually do is have fractions or decimals for the output. And sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. When it's bad, we might want things that are in whole numbers. And if so, then we are going to go into the realm of integer programming. All right, because whole numbers are integers. Or IP, integer programming. Integer programming is much more difficult than linear programming, at least theoretically. There are instances where it's not too difficult. But theoretically, it is more difficult than LP. Uh, to give you a general idea of why that is, right, in linear programming, we might have constraints that look like this, and, and a, a feasible region in here, right? And what can happen is we can start at an corner point and it can traverse the outside of the region quite easily uh, finding the best one. Right? Within, with integer programming that's no longer the case. Now we own our feasible solutions are only the integer ones. Right? And so we would there's no nice algorithm that is guaranteed to be efficient to move from one point to the next point, etc. So it makes it more difficult, theoretically. So what are we going to do? So there are a couple things that we want to talk about. There is strict integer programming, which is also the general case. I'll use integer programming uh, in the general sense, but if it's a strict integer program, then all variables must belong to the set of integers. That's a Z right there. Uh, it's mathematical notation. And a lot, a lot of times it's positive integers, right? So there'll be a plus sign there. In a mixed integer program, or a MIP, then some variables are linear, or fractions, and some are integer. That doesn't make it any easier to solve necessarily, but uh, sometimes we can relax some of the variables to make it at least maybe a little bit more interesting. And then we also have something called a binary integer program, or BIP. So this is binary. That means all of the variables are either 0 or 1. And so we're going to look at an example for the Salem City Council that looks at that uses binary variables to turn things on and off. Right? So we can use it for good, bad, true, false, on, off, that kind of stuff. And so those are the three broad classes of integer programming that is most prevalent in the real world.